the numbers were dwindling, the finances were going down, and it was uh, easy enough to just get depressed about that and think there's no hope for the future. So we said, no, we want to take a different attitude. And um, I see the, the whole project, the Labyrinth Project, as an example of the success of that strategy. I guess about three or four years ago, I took on the responsibility for looking after the grass here. And after a year or so of doing that, I thought, this is kind of pointless, just mowing this grass all the time. So I saw it as sort of a blank canvas, you know, something, something to work on. And so I started mowing a pattern into the grass. And people said, hey, that's quite unique. And uh, then it became a, a labyrinth, and people started walking it. Labyrinth is not just an exercise uh, program at all. It has to do with uh, learning insight and, and awareness, uh, personal awareness, and then into the community and, and into the divine within and, and around us. I'm a movement teacher and I started using the labyrinth in my mindful movement classes. Walking a labyrinth is part of my spiritual practice and having a permanent labyrinth here is a gift. But this labyrinth just provides a community for me that I'm just treasuring. Calling all angels, calling all more engaged with more people um, and we're, get, we're getting to know people at all different levels and, and working together and we've come together tonight to celebrate this. Every day you gaze upon the sun. So it provides something for, for the community and, um, and that's, that's been good for the parish to recognize that even though we may on one level seem to have reduced resources that we can in fact offer something of importance. You know, just don't talk about it, just do something. It made a difference.